Hi, I'm Preeti D'Souza. I would like to talk about COVID-19. COVID-19 turns four. Four years passed since COVID-19 was declared as a pandemic by WHO. Officially, it is no longer a global health emergency. However, the fact is we are still living with the virus and facing the consequences. A lot of articles published, still publishing, I was part of a project called Living Systematic Map of COVID-19. We collect all published peer-reviewed research articles across the globe and is updated till today. And the latest version contains more than 250,000 research articles about COVID-19. I'm talking about only the research articles. And we know that there are a lot of other publications available in social media, in internet, and so on. So what I'm trying to tell is it's very difficult to consolidate all that knowledge and experience because we learned a lot, lot of lessons learned. And in this video, I would like to highlight the four key lessons. Lesson number one is about communication. Along with a wave of COVID-19 infections, we all faced another wave of disinformation happened side by side. We all face lot of challenges due to confusing messages, lack of clarity and lack of trust about the sources. So in the event of a public health emergency, what is important is clear, consistent, transparent communication by trustworthy sources. Lesson number two, not to be complacent. I may sound pessimistic here, but I would like to uh, highlight that the acute phase of COVID-19 is over and we have shifted the focus to some extent, but COVID is still a major public health problem. In December 2023 alone, COVID-19 accounted for 10,000 deaths in 50 countries. It may not be a global health emergency at the moment, but it is still killing and harming far too many people worldwide. So there is no time to be complacent about the pandemic. We need to mitigate the impact of COVID-19 on public health. We need to understand more about the virus, more about variants, transmission, various public health interventions, vaccines, and we need to also focus more on the consequences such as long COVID and the impact on different systems. So lesson number three, continuation of good practices. We could continue using mask when we have respiratory infections, and if you are vulnerable or visiting vulnerable people and as and when required. I read an article about using mask like umbrellas. Use it when required. Ensuring proper ventilation has positive benefits such as reducing indoor air pollution and also reduce the transmission of respiratory infections. Or is about a cautious approach about future pandemics. It is called prepare for disease X. Disease X is the name given by scientists to an un unknown pathogen that could emerge in the future. And without proper preparedness, we could face more devastating damage than COVID-19. So recently I read an article written by a professor of conservation biology and it mentioned about bird flu. Bird flu is decimating species and it is highly pathogenic strain of avian influenza H5N1, otherwise it is called bird flu. It killed millions of birds and also unknown number of mammals in the past three years, including aquatic mammals. And it also caused infection to the human beings. So in conclusion, the four C's, clear communication, not to be complacent, 
continuation of good practices and to be cautious about future pandemic thanks for listening please like share and subscribe thank you